Oh! We're back. <laughs> Where? Duquesne's Landing. landing. <laughs> Tommen's Coronation. Uh oh. Why is she talking yeah. to Cool Boy? I'll meet you inside. Oh, yeah. She wants to marry him. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? X. I have some business to take care ah, of. Playing it like That's that, all huh? Need to know. <laughs> yeah. Some business. Just trust me. They made her look like look, um I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with Watson. You. And I'm not really interested in uh, joining what's Emma you Watson. on her bad side. Oh. You're on your own. If you don't help me, I'll tell everyone your secret. No! I told you that in confidence. You'd really use that the against only, me. The only, all they need to do I is would. just add a bit of a bump on the end of her nose, and she's Emma Watson. She's Fine. so close, though, the design. I'll get you into that party. I don't see it. But after that, you're on your own. You guys? Someone sees it. She's with me. <clears throat> what? We'll cool boy's a soldier? Trouble. I promise. Oh, I can kind of see it in that Master face. Master of fucking disguise. Wait a minute. Cowboy might be Emma Watson. <laughs> Jean it's Parmesan? Great, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And um, what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. <laughs> Thank you. You're making her blush. X. Sorry, Mira. Suck I get to a bit Sarah carried away. You're quite handsome yourself. I can see why Sarah likes you. Hopefully that's not the only reason. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. <laughs> Though I hear you don't partake yourself. Try for wine. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing <clears throat> goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunk. Praise Coldboy, the many faced god. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Drama. Aww. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. You need some radar. My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. Little stuff. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No. I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You've told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Find out who's helping Lord Whitehill. Why would I look at these? To blend in? I think so. Oh. Hmm. Low the resolution. The same way anymore. <laughs> the crowd. Whoa, there's a lot to do here. Yeah. Look at this food. Oh. Ew. What kind of food is that? Just a big block of cheese, walks around eating it. Oh, <laughs> that's my kind of party. <laughs> How are you feeling, madame? Constipated? <laughs> it seems so calm out there. I heard he was killed, right here in the garden. 
Well. Wasn't he Lannister? Or one of their guards, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. <laughs> That's the wax centerpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go get a drink. Walks about 10 feet away, just listens. First we look at the flowers. <laughs> Terrible. You were the one telling the joke, remember? <clears throat> it is long, but I know how to spend it. Worst eavesdropping. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Oh! <laughs> oh. He doesn't have an answer for that one. Mm. So I can't eavesdrop on that guy? Can't even talk to him if I want. Mm. Oh, you can walk faster than this. Lord Andros. Mira Forrester. <clears throat> Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scared? Who's Morgren? Who's Coldboy? Morgren was my friend. He's he. Coldboy's not my no, friend. I know what calm. he's planning. Oh. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, his... or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good Do it, you will, to chair. He can take it. He's that guy. Who's that guy? Mordren, I think. Right. Coal boy. Chair. I'm confused now. Yeah, that guy. This guy is yeah. Coalboy. And why would you ever stop dealing iron? Because they're no longer in demand. I can't imagine that would be the case. No need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Oh, oh, the king's dead. Oh, oh, oh. Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. <clears throat> How did you do it, if I may ask? Cool boy. I wasn't expecting to see you again. What if I'm being contract? Honest. We stole it. You oh. must have made quick work of it. Sir, I broke into Tyrion's study and stole it. Risky, but it worked, clearly. I oh yeah, he helped King's us last minute, told us that you. we had to... So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you Sir. must want something. I have a message from Lord Andros for you. And what would that be? He said he'd do much worse than drive you out of business. That insufferable! What did he mean by that? It seems Andros has already roped you into this mess. If you must know, I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. And Wait, Russ doesn't that make him useless to us? Exclusive contact yeah, in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. 
That man would be nothing without Bex. me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I have the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. Let's all go to Littlefingers. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. Lyman. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> Leave him alone. Please excuse me. Sorry, everyone, just talking to the ugly handmaiden. <laughs> Nothing to concern yourself with. What a dick. I've already told you, and didn't we agree to stop talking business? All right, Ricard. How about something more personal then? Oh, you're calling me Ricard now. Well, when are you going to get married? <laughs> That's Captain <laughs> Ricard. I love. Took a turn, didn't it? You didn't answer the question. <laughs> Any self-respecting eavesdropper would walk by and go, BORING! <laughs> Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Lyra. I hope you're enjoying well yourself. Well met! Have you had any luck? <clears throat> luck? With what? I saw you looking at Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. You that know isn't it. really what Mira is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Someone. I'm only curious. No harm in that. Circle. You can tell me. I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's getting a bit tired, don't you think? I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Don't be angry. <laughs> Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. It's just like your ugly, your angry face. Stay out of trouble, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he's angry face. No, that's... No, your angry face is... It's more like... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's her angry face. <laughs> Whenever like, he has that face on, you know you're fucking on the couch. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello again, Lady Mira. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Mm, I never Please left. Please excuse me. <laughs> Go back. I feel like Howard Moon. <laughs> and a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. The friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Eh. Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crowd, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Oh, I can talk to him now. Hey, Lyman. Yeah, why don't you tell the truth um, for once in your me. life? <laughs> Lyman. Lyman Lannister. What the Shit. hell is wrong with you? Yeah, dude. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I'm not sure what you think this is, but let's roll with it. Like this. So, what brings you over here? H.J. Malor? best company, I'm afraid. <laughs> or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? Circle? You look like you could use some company. Soft touch. Ah. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andrew. See? I'm like spider. I'm told it's rude to leave early. You know how to manipulate people, friends oh. and What kind of business? I, I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand? 
he wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. X. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I. Whoa! I'm gonna do it. You're here. Well, hmm. Are you a virgin here? You stay away from him. And us. We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Epic cock block. Tell me about it. I didn't realize. My lord. I was gonna let you do whatever you wanted to my ear. Yeah. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again. Uh oh. Called attention to ourselves. <gasps> Emma Watson will remember Ooh! that. Lady Marjorie. Ah, it's a dragon! Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Does anybody notice that there's a dragon walking around? I don't think Lady so. Marjorie. Oh, Sarah, you saved our fucking ass. <laughs> Get the hell balls uh, in. An alien. <laughs> no, this isn't sci-fi dummy. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman. I'm not in a fight. About. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. No, just tell me. Just be careful around him. All right. Circle. Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. For a hand job. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Oh, she's a bastard. Yeah, she's a bastard. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. Oh, I'd shit. be very grateful, Lady Mira. We're gonna ruin our what life. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. I don't want to fuck her over Funny that hard. Is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. You do? What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right. Uh -oh. And I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. She asked me not to tell anyone. But Sarah is a bastard. Are you certain? She was born Sarah Flowers. The Tyrells renamed her. Uh oh. She oh, fucking incredibly helped disappointed. You. She seems so refined. I was certain she was born a lady. She's been lying her whole life. She even lied to me until recently. <laughs> and she has six toes. And to think I Only knew. six! Three on each foot, it's weird! Thank you for being honest with me. She's like a turtle! I like it, because that's how not a lot of people play it. <laughs> and now, Lord Tarwick, it's you. You deserve an HJ. <laughs> right. Should be a BJ, Lyman really. Lannister. Oh, Ten wait, depending ago, on how much information Lyman he gives was us. was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. Who's Poppy? And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. Yeah, because you know you, you can confide in me. About it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. I'll you tell everyone. The man's mouth is Wait, bigger than the Wait, then the secret's water. not worth anything to me. No. I'll no, tell no someone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to undo. Shit. <laughs> the happy face. Lady Mira. What was she planning, really, like, to get in with him? Once she married him and he found out eventually... He was never gonna find out, she's gonna keep the secret forever. How? By just never telling him. But... That's how you keep secrets. But... <laughs> I know that we don't understand that. Eventually, but... it would... Nope. The Tyrells renamed her. Ah. Uh... 
Yeah, all right. <laughs> Although he already had suspicion, so. <clears throat> Guess by then it would be too late. You just have to kill her. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. X. Just, just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Circle I don't have to stand square. here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Well, Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. We're he the spilled worst. your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. What? He's Don't building an play army it. for Lord cool. White, yeah. big enough to march against Ironrath. Oh yeah, I already. But Andros that. is doing it in secret. But tell me more. No one knows, or at least he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but well. X. Now you know the too. Family by Lord our family? won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, yeah, he'll slaughter castle. whoever That's he wants. But this is. Thank you. You don't need a big army to do that. You we have bloody nobody. traitor! <laughs> oh, this should you be good. You promised me. Then you told everyone. Oh fuck! What are you talking about? Let's choose You're it. You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Ooh. Jumps off the edge. <laughs> uh oh. Better go through his legs. Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. As have you, my lord. Because I know everything you're planning. And I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> Why didn't he backhand her? She's just a handmaiden, he could totally get away with it. That would be totally Game of Thrones. Ever vigilant. Back in a moment.